so yeah, this bus is full of mysteries. We, so we got this part. What does it do? And we got this hose right here. What does it do? The, the guy does What? The guy doesn't even know. We're going to have to look in the book. Got the book. Please turn that thing off. Take the carburetor off. We put the carburetor back on. We took. We got a new carburetor or donated carburetor, and it's all full of rust. And the donated carburetor was full of rust. And so yeah, we still got to go and do it. Uh, somebody was saying that um, one of my followers said that they part a Chevy. Uh, Fuel saver club and put a, a four barrel carburetor on there. No, I don't. Why do you keep saying that? Dude, it never came with a four barrel, Eric. You're gonna be wasting your money and wasting your gas. Uh, we this is a mechanical fuel pump on the side. We checked it. It's getting pressed, so it's and it's pumping gas, right? Yeah. And um. Yeah, this is just old 350, you know, so, uh, nothing wrong with a motor, just carburetor, it's all gunked up, the other one was all gunked up, this one's gunked up. Yeah, alright, well, this is where we at, we try and get money up for a new carburetor, and gotta get a new carburetor, and, yep. All right, cool. So that's working. Yep. It's don't work. Yeah. It's all clogged up. It's all rusty. It's rusty. Well, you can just take a look in the bottom. It's terrible. Then that accelerator pump goes in here, but look at all the rust down in the corner. That's no good. Yeah. Too much junk in the bottom. And the carburetor shop, they want, what, 229 Yeah, like 229 for a rebuilt. Just to rebuild it. Yeah, just come in and clean it. And a it. new one at uh, AutoZone is, I think, 203 online. It's 173 But you're better off getting one at the auto parts store in case it's wrong. It's easier to change. Yeah, see, that stuff's all gunged up. There's your jets. They're clogged up. The jets that come out to here, you know, that the gas shoots the gas in. This ain't pumping, and that ain't working. This is Alright, you gone? So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about starting a school at my house. And, like, it's a really cool idea. Like, I've honestly even been in the news talking about it. This hobo ho hobby idea. Creating, giving every hobo a hobby. And, like, get bringing people together. I'm thinking that we can, every day we can have different classes. Like, I, today I took a yoga class. It was awesome. You know, I, I just talked to somebody and say, hey, they know how to teach music. You know, you can come to my house and play teach music we can have a group music lesson and and then maybe he can take some garden classes and so you know he can take some garden classes and take music so everybody got something they can teach and everybody got something they can learn from and even if you can't teach anything you can come and you can learn and uh, you know so everybody because it, it's really helpful learning something you get your mind moving doing new things learning new things like expanding your mind and um so that's like really really helpful um like expanding your mind um so like we need to like ex learn how to just ex like do different things right and by and we can do all these different projects like so like one idea was like we come out and we like take building classes like construction classes that, and what's so great about the construction class is like people can come over and teach construction class and then then people also can come over and learn how to do construction and and while they're doing that they actually help finish the foundation finish all the all the work that needs to be done there by becoming a student and then when we get done we just go down to the next house the next house and eventually we we fixing all the houses in Detroit because people and then we have people from all over the country come here, fixing these houses, oh. you know, learning how to do different things, and like, so, 
you know, we can, and then we people can like do different projects and do it as experiments, like doing, like I, you know, every year on Earth Day, I used to do the gasification workshops. So like, even though I didn't really know what I was doing, even though I didn't really know what I was doing, um, I feel like that I was, te I knew more about it than everybody else. And other people could kind of get me like the input on it, and then we can work together to try to fit out how how it actually works. So, like these workshops are really great things for they have artists and creative people to come together and collab and create something even like brand new. All right, thank you, Eric. This is Eric here at the Psychedelic Healing Shack in Detroit. The Club Foundation. Do you know the way? Say that again, where are you trying to get to? The way. You know the way? You don't know the way. He don't know the way. Do you all know the way? <laughs> all right, man, I see you. You don't know the way? <laughs> I'm trying to find the way. Do you all know the way? <laughs> I just had some volunteers stop by my house. They are walking away. Where they say they don't want to have their faces on YouTube, but a lot of people don't want to be on YouTube. Yeah. They don't want to be on YouTube. Yeah. But uh, but they yeah, 15 hour minimum wage. We try to raise up minimum wage right now. It's like eight bucks an hour. I used to have a job, man. I used to work at McDonald's. I only got paid. I worked there all week and only got paid less than a hundred dollars. All for all week. You know. Man, most people I know won't work for less than a hundred dollars a day. Shit, you know. So I went there, and so uh, you know, trying to fight minimum wage. You also try to get the houses up, getting you know. So there's a lot of things we're we'll working towards right now. If you want to find more information about it, um, please go to the website. They have. Information about it. No, no, eh? Do you know the way? Do you know the way? I gotta find the way. Do you know the way? What are you doing? That's my. Guy must have come around here and take that thing off here. Sorry. What thing? Or the car. Man. I can't yesterday. Where, where is that carburetor shop at? Uh, it's the old guy house. It's like nobody going over. Well, there. I ain't going to take take the carburetor back back to somewhere that you already, you already took it over there once well, and already fucked up. I don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to get you to take it free. 